Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for February. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for whoever, whenever. May not be for you. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that deck right there. What do we have, Pisces? Just a minute. Authority. Authority. Hold on. I just got to shut this off. Um, my apologies. Um, so this is about you being in control, Pisces. It's about you being in control. Taking charge of a situation. Taking control of a situation. Dominating a situation. You being the dominator here. This is also a protector, okay? Um, this could also do with a have to do with a husband. Could have to do with a father, because this is this is like the father of the tarot, okay? So this is if you are the male Pisces, this is probably you taking on this energy, taking on this energy of being in complete control, knowing exactly what you want, and not budging. I will not budge. Four is an angel number. It is a number, you know, it's an angel number. So you may be being nudged by angels to do something. Just got to throw that out there. Um, either way, this is about taking back control of a situation or remaining in control. Okay? This is, this is taking the lead, though, being the boss. Standing in your authority. If you are the female, this could be who you're dealing with. You know, you may be dealing with an emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. You, even if you are the female, this could be you having the power. Having the complete control. Because of your wisdom. You have the wisdom. It's like you know. You know. Right? Right? We're going to get one of these. It's a very masculine energy. This is also about being responsible. It's about protecting. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm not even going to say it. Now, what I was going to say, I'm going to say it because I have to say it. Protecting your angel. That's what came up. Ancestors. Yeah, I think that you are being nudged, and you've no. And these are ancestors that have passed away, angels, angels. I'm telling you what, it's like the angels are talking to you. I think that you are being nudged, and you are probably being given some sort of guidance from your ancestors that have already passed. Are you listening? Are you listening, Pisces? Angels are here. on earth and in the spiritual realm you're being guided by angels you probably have a mother and a father some of you have a mother and a father up there that are trying to nudge you this one's still alive this is an this one this one is still alive so this is probably an earth angel Interesting. Wow. <clears throat> it is. I mean, if you look, these two, that's in the frame. This one's alive. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but anyhow. Interesting. Pisces, what do we got? And it's funny. They talk to me every day. They talk to you, too. Do you listen? 
I guess you got to believe in angels to hear them, right? You got to believe in angels to to hear them. If you don't believe, well, that's your loss. Pisces, Cancer. Why did I say Cancer? Cancer got this card too. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. I don't know. Maybe you're Pisces, Cancer. I don't know. <sighs> Somebody's afraid to start over. I mean, the Fool reversed. It's afraid to start over. It's like you need to take a risk. There's, a, there's an opportunity to start at zero, but there's fear in the way. Fear of taking a risk. But there's an opportunity to start over here, okay? But there could be control issues. This is about control. I am the boss. I will not budge. Refusing to take action. Somebody's not taking any action, even though they're being guided to do so. Ooh! with somebody from their past. This is the past. This is the Six of Cups. This is the past. Holding my ground. I'm keeping my stance. But there's still a lot of memories there, right? There's memories. Memories are at the surface. They are. There's no hiding them either. I feel like... Somebody may have wasted their time. Somebody may have wasted their time or planted their seeds someplace they shouldn't have planted them. <laughs> There's not a lot of growth. Perhaps you were hoping for something more. Maybe you're waiting. Maybe you're just waiting for something before you do, before you choose or before you pick before you harvest, whatever. It's like you're waiting for something. What are you waiting for, Pisces? Waiting for the past? Are you waiting for the past to take action? Is that what you're waiting for? Definitely looking back, though. There's a lot of uh, stalking going on. A lot of watching. Watching every single thing that goes on, huh? Somebody's doing a lot of stalking, observing, but they're not taking any action because there's fear. I mean, they might be, be, there might be fear of rejection or there's fear of being taken advantage of. There's definitely fear of taking a risk. So there's no communication. There's no communication. Even though these are the rods of love, if there's no communication with this person from the past. It's like it's been blocked. Maybe you're blocking it. Maybe they're blocking it. But there's definitely a lot of watching, observing from the sidelines. Okay, that's what that is. But there's a lot of pain. There is hurt. There's grieving going on. There is grieving going on. There's grieving over these memories. Very painful, very hurtful. Now, this is a card that says forgiveness is needed. But somebody doesn't want to give up the control. This is like a very controlling energy. It is. Anybody that would look up that card that doesn't know it, it's very controlling. I will not. I must dominate this situation. Sometimes being too controlling hurts. Oh, a five of swords. <laughs> oh my God. This is a very egotistical situation. Somebody has forced some pet buddy to walk away because of their ego. They must win. They must win. Winning at all costs. I have to win. And I think that maybe it's you, Pisces. I mean, that's that's your card. That's you. You know, and the Five of Swords, you could be dealing with, 
you know, I'm, or this is you. This is unfair. There's unfairness here. It's like you think you have won. You think you have won by pushing away somebody that was there beside you, that was fighting with you. You think you have won? It looks as me, to me like you're still in pain because you got three swords on you. You're still in pain. This person sees the truth and they're not even fighting anymore. They've left it. You have it. You take it. You keep that pain. You're holding the three swords. You got, you're holding on to the pain. Thinking you won? This person's no longer holding on to the pain. They left it. It's there. No longer in denial. The two of swords. I'm not going to be in denial. I'm not going to wear this mask anymore. If you want to hold on to the pain, and if you want to, and if if you got to remain in control, it's because of ego. If you can't let go of the need to control, that's your ego talking. This is the card. This is a card of ego and pride getting in the way. There's been too much conflict. There's conflict here, and it's all about winning. I have to win. I have to win. I have to prove myself. Same. Same kind of energy. Somebody has is trying to prove themselves by not communicating, by not taking action. All the while, this person that is proving themselves are being nudged from above. They are. And... They're feeling the pain because he's got the three swords. So we got somebody here that is really feeling a lot of pain, but they're but they're hiding it quite well. Perseverance. This is perseverance as well. It's like you're really, really determined to prove yourself, aren't you? Very, very determined to prove yourself. But I think you're growing weary. Yeah, I do. I think you're growing weary. I think there's some doubt and I think there's some fear. But I think that you're quite not ready to give up. You're not ready to give up. I think that you're guarded. I think that you've been wounded and you're right on the edge. You're right on the edge. Of following your dreams, going after what you want. This is a card of hope. We had this before for you. We did. We had this card of hope. I got it in one of my cups, you know. I think you've probably seen it. Anyway, it's a card of hope. It's a, card, it's a time of inspiration. It's a time to follow your dreams. It's a time of wish fulfillment. But the thing is, is you have to let your guard down. And you have to stop fighting. You have to take action. It's like, some, you know, roses are a symbol of love. This rose has a, a sword right through the heart of it. Somebody has been stabbed right in the heart. Because of ego and control. There's an opportunity to heal, because this is a card of healing, and to find wish fulfillment, and to bring peace back to a situation. There is. This is also a card of protection, and this is a card of protection as well. So maybe it's time to, I don't know. come out of this darkness, come out of the cold. It's time to deal with conflict. Fives are conflict. It's time. It's time to deal with this conflict. And, and it's time to maybe ask for help. I don't know.
let go of the victim mentality. The five of pentacles is victim mentality. You're not a victim here. Somebody has been holding on to a victim mentality because of their old wounds. And it could go all the way back to their parents. Maybe they were neglected as a parent when bought from their parents. <laughs> and that will certainly wound you for your whole life, won't it, when you, when you were neglected from your parents. So I feel like somebody is holding on to some old wounds, because this is wounded, some old wounds, and therefore they are unable to let their guard down, unable to budge because they're trying to protect themselves. We have somebody here that is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt and trying to prove themselves. And I think it stems all the way back to childhood. I really, really do. I think it stems all the way back to childhood. There's an opportunity to heal a situation because this is healing. But you're going to have to let go of the victim mentality And drop, drop those burdens, make a conscious change. This is making a conscious change to let go of the past, to let go of the burdens, to let go, of, just drop it. You got to drop something, a grudge. This is heavy. This is baggage. Drop the grudge. Somebody's absolutely holding a grudge with that. There's no doubt. It's all about power, ego, and control here. Holding a grudge. Now, this is drop it. There's an opportunity to bring balance and healing to a situation. If you can let your guard down and fight for what you want. I think that your integrity is being tested and I think that you may be thinking about taking action, you may be thinking about taking a step forward, but you're really unsure, you're really indecisive. I think that you're indecisive as to whether you want to heal this broken heart or not? You're indecisive in regards to a partnership. That's for damn sure. You may have thought the grass was greener on the other side and you've come to realize that it's not. There's definitely fear of change here. And there's a lack of balance because somebody has let their ego take over. Okay? This is ego. This is ego. The need to win. I have to win. It's not about winning. There's no love in these cards. Only with the past. That's the only place you got love with the past. Can't make that shit up now, can we? So anyhow, um, I think that you may be thinking about making a move but you're not actually making a move you're thinking about it I feel like there's a lot of indecision there's a lot of um, pain that is that is right at the surface a lot of memories right at the surface but there is an opportunity for healing if you can compromise okay I feel like there's a lot of sadness here that is hindering you. There may have been a third party situation. There's probably some sort of um, dashed expectations. Maybe you feel like it's too late. Maybe you feel like we can't even be friends anymore. You know, maybe you feel like, you know, there's no ability to heal but there is there is because the healing is right underneath this maybe you feel like it's it's too late
There's instability and insecurities here. And it feels like somebody just wants to go home. But they're afraid that they won't be accepted. This is a home. They may feel like they can't save it. It's too late. It's all I keep thinking. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. But whoever you're dealing with is very stable and secure and abundant and doing quite well. So if this this could be you. This could be you, uh, Pisces, especially if you're the female. You know, you're doing very, very, very well. And I think somebody is watching you do well. This is the female. I think that we have a female here that is doing quite well on her own. She's independent. She's abundant. She's doing just fine. And I feel like you may feel, and if you are if you are the male, you may feel like you will be very much criticized, attacked by this female. Maybe you are being attacked by this female. I feel like we had we definitely have a female here that is doing very 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 well, and somebody may want to come home, but they feel like it's, you know, they will be attacked if they make an attempt. Um. Because they let that person walk away in the past. They let that person walk away. They didn't fight for them, right? They didn't because they had to win. So Pisces, I feel like you have an opportunity to heal a third party situation. If you can walk away from one situation. This is turning your back on something that really isn't stable anyway. Ending it. Ending a third party situation. And putting in a lot of effort to make something work. If you work hard, you will succeed. I feel as though, you know, there's an opportunity to reconnect with somebody from your past. That's the only love card we have here. And all these cards. But it's going to take a lot of effort. Investment. Nurturing. And it's going to take some communication. And you're going to have to take a risk. And you're going to have to face your fears. What is this Six of Cups? This is somebody from your past. What is this? Let's clarify this Six of Cups right here. And I think who this person from your past is doing very, very, very well. Unless this is you. If this is the female watching it. You know, somebody from your past is watching, if you are the female, if you are the male, same thing. It looks to me as though it's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of taking a break. It's the end of betrayal. If you can let go of your old thoughts. This is the death of an idea. Letting go of your old thoughts. Releasing them. But there's a lot of fear. There's no courage. We got somebody here who has no courage to move forward. will not change their ways. We got somebody here that will not change their ways. We got a master manipulator here who refuses to take action because they have to win. They have to win.
So Pisces, I feel as though you're losing an opportunity here. Oh, bastard! Son of a bitch! You're losing an opportunity here. They do this for me all the time. You're losing the biggest opportunity. This is a playoff from the last one. I can't make this shit up. You're losing a golden opportunity because of your stubbornness. That's what I have. You're losing it. <laughs>